Now let's practice what we've learned from the world of digits and apply it to the world of letters. Here's a problem. We have this four letter word L O V E love. We need to find all the four letter words that can be formed by rearranging the letters of this word love. Let me bring out our boxes. We have the first one, the second one, third one and fourth one and we need to fill all four of them. Pause the video, try it out. All right. So here's an important word, rearranging. When you're rearranging the letters, you're only playing with one L, one O, one V and one E. This means the repetition in this case is not allowed. It's not mentioned here, but this is something that you can figure out from this word rearranging that in this case, the repetition is not allowed. So let's try and solve this. We're making a four letter word and the repetition is not allowed. So for the first box, we have four options. So it can be done in four ways. Let's say it takes E. The next one can be done in three. L O V, we have three options left. Let's say it takes V. The next one will have two. Let's say it takes O. And for the last one, we have only one letter left. So it'll be done in only one way. So four times three times two times one, that's 24. So we can make 24 words by rearranging the letters of this word love. And by the way, one of them will be this word love itself. Let's move on. L O V E. This time we're making a four letter word and we are putting a condition. We're saying that the word should start with a vowel. How will we do this? Let's build the boxes. We have these four boxes for the four letters. Pause the video, try it out. Okay, so it has to start with a vowel, which means this yellow box is where the constraint is. So we'll take care of this yellow box first. How many vowels do we have? Well, we have one and two, we have two vowels. So this can be done in two ways. Let's get this going. So two ways for this. And now we're left with three letters, which means we can fill the next box in three ways and the next one in two and the last one in one. And all in all, we'll have two times three times two times one, that's 12 ways. So from total 24 words, we're down to 12. What happens if you put an even stronger constraint? Let's say we're making a four letter word and this time we need the word to start and end with a vowel. How many words are possible in this case? Let's get the boxes out. All right, pause the video, try this out. Okay, so let's do this. In this case, we're making a four letter word. The repetition is not allowed. And the condition is that the word starts and ends with a vowel, which means the constraint is for the yellow box and also for the pink box. We can start here or we can start here. Let's go with yellow. Okay, how many ways to fill the yellow box? How many vowels do we have? Well, we have two vowels, O and E, just like before. So this can be filled in two ways. Now let's skip these two and jump to the last one because this one also needs a vowel. How many vowels do we have? One of them is used by this one, which means we only have one vowel left. So this box can be filled in one way. Now that we have filled these two, let's pick these ones. Because two letters are left, this one can be filled in two ways and the last one only one way. So two times two times one times one, that's going to be four ways. This means we only have four words which start and end with a vowel. Let's practice some more. Here's the word nature, N-A-T-U-R-E. -E. So find all six letter words that can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word nature. And the condition is that these words should start and end with a vowel. So here are your boxes. Pause the video, try this out. Okay, so they have to start and end with a vowel which means the first box and the last box will have problems. So we'll deal with them before we move to the other boxes. So let's pick the yellow one. How many vowels do we have? We have A, U and E. So we have three vowels, which means we can fill this yellow box in three ways. Now let's move to the pink one. One vowel is gone. We're still left with two. So this one can be done in two ways. Now let's talk about these four boxes. How many letters left? Well, two letters will be gone. Both of them will be vowels. We'll be left with four letters. So this can be done in four, the next one in three, the next one in two, and the last one in one. So all in all, we'll have three times four times three times two times one times two. That's 144 ways. Last one, N-A-T-U-R-E. We are finding all three letter words that can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word nature. And the condition is that these words should start and end with a vowel. Because we have three letter words, so we'll only have three boxes. Pause the video, try this one. So the condition is still the same. We'll first take care of the first and last letters. So taking the yellow one first, we have one, two and three, three vowels. So three ways. Pink one will have 
two ways because two vowels are still left and for the last box we'll have six minus two that's four letters left so this can be filled in four ways so that's three times four times two that's 12 times two that's 24 ways